Hi guys! Remember me? It's your friend Owen? Today you are going with me to school. Mr. Smith, my grammar teacher, said we could take a friend for a special grammar class, so I've decided to take you. Mr. Smith is a great teacher, and always has cool challenges and trivias for all of us. Are you ready to learn some fun grammar? Let's go! Good morning class, and a very warm welcome to our guests. Today we will be learning about parts of speech and playing a trivia game along with our friends. But first, we must learn the different parts of speech. We call parts of speech to the different categories in which words are arranged according to their function in the sentence. There are eight basic parts of speech, nouns, pronouns, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. Let's go through each one to know their function. Nouns are used to name people, places, things, and animals. Some examples of nouns are the words tree, school, Ohio, cat, and Amy. Pronouns are used to replace nouns. The words I, you, he, she, they, we, and it, are pronouns. For example, in the sentence, the girl sat down, I can replace the noun girl for the pronoun she. I can say, she sat down. Adjectives are used to describe nouns. They tell how things look, smell, taste, or feel. Some examples of adjectives are the words, blue, cold, sweet, big, and soft. Words that tell about actions are called verbs. Jump, play, and read are examples of verbs. Adverbs are used to tell how the verbs happened. In a way, adverbs describe actions by telling us how they happened. They usually end in ly. For example, if the kids play, adverbs can tell us how they did it. The kids played roughly, quietly, or energetically. Prepositions help tell the time and location of nouns and pronouns. Some examples of prepositions are the words, in, on, under, inside, behind, outside, above, and below. Other words connect words and ideas. These are called conjunctions. The words for, and, nor, because, or yet, and so are conjunctions. You can easily recall them all with the acronym of fanboys. Interjections are expressions that show emotions, and are usually followed by an exclamation mark. Some examples of interjections are the following. Wow. Oh no. Ouch. Hooray. Oh yeah. Help. Now it's time for a small trivia. Read the sentence and answer the questions below. Ah. I love the smell of flowers in the springtime. Can you find three nouns in this sentence? What is the verb? Can you identify the interjection? Pause the video and try to answer the questions on your own. Then press play to check your answers. Ready to check your answers? Let's look at the questions one more time. Question 1. Can you find three nouns in the sentence? Of course. The nouns are smell, flowers, and springtime. Question 2. What is the verb? The verb or action word is love. Now to the final question. Can you identify the interjection? Let's see. Expressions that show emotions. There it is. Ah. Is the interjection. It was great to have you here today. You did great, but now it's time for me to go back home. Remember, for fun interactive games on the different parts of speech, go to www.snowflake.live. See you next time.